Here we are going to start a new chapter that is uh, a trip to Bhopal and this is the first page uh, in, in your textbook about a trip to Bhopal. So this is uh, just for change like uh, in the first unit and second unit you have learned uh, everything in the classroom only so to, to have a change uh, in the environment to learn more school has planned a trip to Pobal so different in this uh, unit uh, I mean in this chapter you can find uh, the different conversations between students I mean among students and then uh, among faculty students with uh, some outsiders at petrol bank etc etc okay so in this page also you can see uh, there is a conversation like Suganda is very excited all the children of her school are going to uh, on a trip to Bhopal with her with their teachers so Miss Meenakshi and uh, Mr. Rakesh both teachers are talking about the number of buses needed okay so these uh, 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 of course before going into the details so let us uh, 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 I mean I would like to tell you that the, the textbook is having many converge conversations which I cannot put everything in the slide but here and there uh, I will be uh, uh, reading out those conversations okay so first let us start with the today's video so before going to start today's video uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel click this red button and then click like button and then share it and then click the bell button to get my continuous updates right so coming to the first slide uh, that is a trip to Bhopal as I said in the last uh, slide that all conversations I could not put it here so I am taking the summary of the conversations and the questions are the hints whatever that is required to solve the questions uh, that I am going to give you uh, that I am going to present it as in the form of a voice so there are uh, 210 students the total which is uh, here whatever that class number one class number two class number three four and five these students all together they are uh, total 210 put together it is 210 okay now the conversation between the teachers are like this so shall we accommodate four buses or five buses shall we uh, go with only four buses and uh, the let the students adjust themselves so these are the different types of conversations that is uh, going on uh, between the teachers so uh, Meenakshi the teacher is telling that we need four buses Rakesh teacher is telling that no no we need at, at least uh, five buses Meenakshi teacher is telling that each bus has 50 seats so uh, four, four buses are enough so Mr. Rakesh is telling that let us see how many children are going uh, class wise how many are there so in class number one I, as I told just now 33 32 in class number 2 44 42 in class number 3 and 50 in fourth class this is your class 53 in fifth class so here the thing is do we need four buses one bus can take 50 children four buses can take how many children so what you have what you have to do here 50 into 4 you have to calculate that 50 is the capacity of one bus into four buses that will go up to 210 so even the total number of students is 210 oh, sorry here it is 200 not 210 so total number of students are 210 
so if they go, if they get four buses how many children will get seats 200 children will get seats of course if they share or if they adjust everybody will get seats including the teachers will there be any children left without seats yeah in our uh, example uh, if everybody has to go with a seat then 10 students will be left without seat so instead of uh, this what you can say the buses planned so if a mini bus uh, arrives actually the mini bus arrived okay so to to their surprise all the students are waiting for the buses and uh, a mini bus mini bus is arrived so there is a argument we have ordered or we have asked for to send uh, the big buses why you have brought mini buses okay and in the meanwhile these students uh, like sahiba jumps out of the line and to see if the buses are coming she shouts loudly hey there i can see them run grab the window seats so many children started jumping and in excitement but as i told you there is an argument stop what is this these buses are so small we told you to bring big buses we did we didn't uh, we did not have enough buses so we got many min bu mini buses so the question here is how many mini buses can take 35 students okay so earlier there were 10 students were left right but here the uh, in this case we may get uh, exactly the 210 so let us check it so for example i will take 35 plus one more 35 plus one more 35 let me add first to 3 15 plus 1 here 369 10 one not 5 only so that means uh, if i multiply this into 2 how much i will get 210 okay that means bus 1 2 3 and i want bus 4 5 and 6 totally 6 mini buses can accommodate all the students i mean instead of share waiting or sharing uh, whatever the uh, things that happened uh, earlier so totally uh, we require how many six buses each mini bus can take 35 students how many mini buses are required six is the answer so directly if you want you can multiply with the count six five are 30 and six uh, three are 18 19 20 21 210 is the count so we are getting it okay so let me show you that also here so 35 into 6 is equal to 210 6 5 30 3 carry 18 19 20 21 so but we don't know this value right so uh, after getting the answer we are checking it but if you if you want to know directly you have to do division operation here okay so that is 210 divided by 35 and coming to the next slide the journey begins uh, at exactly uh, nine o'clock so one of the faculty uh, mr rakesh uh, if i if i am not wrong uh, is come on telling that it's uh, Mm, getting late already it's nine o'clock so come on now get in fast the journey begins at nine o'clock and uh, indra is uh, indra is one person who is asking when will we reach bhopal asha is telling that if we don't stop anywhere we should reach there in two hours so there is around uh, that is around how much so two hours means nine o'clock after nine o'clock two hours is eleven o'clock right 
so let me uh, write that answer here 11 o'clock is the uh, value destination is about 70 kilometers expecting a stop at uh, Bimbetka about 50 kilometers from here so of course if they won't stop anywhere they will reach by 11 o'clock if they are stopping it someplace called Bimbetka then what happens they may arrive late so at what time they may arrive 10 o'clock it is not possible 11, 11 o'clock after 11 o'clock also uh, uh, it is uh, it may happen after 11 o'clock or it may happen uh, in between 10 to 11 if they go to Bimbetka they will reach there by definitely of course even not 10 to 11 also it is not possible okay because the uh, usually it will it was 11 if they won't stop anywhere it will be 11 and they are expecting a stop okay which is at 50 kilometers actually they are not going directly to destination Bhopal okay they are expecting a stop at Bimbetka if they go to Bimbetka they will reach there Adi is asking us to calculate what is the value what is the time at, at which they will reach to Bimbetka so 10 may not be possible 10 to 11 may possible okay and after 11 it is impossible because they are nowhere they are stopping and and then they are directly going to Bimbetka so definitely uh, it will be around uh, 11 o'clock and now we will move to the next slide which is a Narmada river yeah in the meanwhile the journey continues so suddenly uh, one student called Bahadur shouts loudly hey look at the Narmada river uh, everyone looks out of the window uh, Ruby says that wow it's so long uh, and so wide so let us guess how wide it is and uh, yeah like in the part of guessing first Gopi comes hmm 100 meters no it is much more can't say Victoria says uh, it, it must be more than half a kilometer Asha says that no look at uh, it is written on the bridge it is written the bridge is 756.82 meters that means it could not be uh, more than half a kilometer okay so can we guess that the Narmada must be about 500 meters uh, wide at this place so our uh, question is is Victoria uh, right or was Victoria right yeah because the bridge is 756.82 meters so at that point uh, the Narmada uh, might be um, 500 meters okay uh, wide Sadaf says that uh, Sadaf uh, says that yeah I just can't imagine 500 meters uh, Miss Asha see our bus is 5 meters long imagine how many buses can stand in a line on this bridge so have you ever crossed a long bridge I will I will I'm going to the next slide so first have a look at this Narmada river so the water level you observe the water level uh, and it could be uh, summer season and in the rainy season they will discuss in the coming uh, uh, slide or coming page about uh, what is the water level uh, uh, in different seasons okay so look at the bridge and everything carefully and here yeah here so have you ever crossed uh, a long bridge how many uh, meters long was it so just uh, carefully answer this uh, if you if you might have crossed a long bridge then how many meters uh, long uh, was it so answer is up to you how which bridge it depends upon the bridge uh, and answer should be in meters okay and I'm, I'm writing simply 500 meters because Narmada is the bridge we are talking about what is the difference between the water level of Narmada in the rainy season and now? So, in order to answer this, uh, what uh, you have to um, do is you have to listen to the conversation of uh, two people. 
Now, Mr. Rakesh uh, tells that the water level now is quite low. It must be about 40 meters. It must be about 40 meters. below the bridge asha but in rainy season the water had risen then it was just about 15 meters below the bridge 15 meters only below the bridge okay so the one person is telling that the water level is now quite low it must be uh, it, about 40 meters below the bridge this is the bridge right so he is talking about 40 meters below the bridge from the top uh, up to the um, bottom uh, you can see here from from here to here okay from from here to here he is talking about 40 meters and the other girl uh, is talking about only this much okay so let us uh, go to the same slide what is the difference uh, between uh, the waters in a summer season and uh, this rainy season okay again uh, you you go back uh, to the same slide in summer season it was 40 meters below here somewhere here 40 meters below and in rainy season somewhere here 15 meters below so what what is the current uh, height or uh, what is the difference between these two levels uh, is the answer so it is 35 uh, i mean 25 uh, will be the answer okay again the same difference in the sense higher minus lower value you have to take you should not give the difference in negative so higher minus lower value so you are going to get 25 is the answer and uh, after that uh, the bus uh, starts and then it suddenly stops uh, at one place okay so that place is uh, petrol bunk this is the petrol bunk so suddenly uh, the bus stops and then students are um, now very interestingly looking out of the windows hey it is such a big uh, tummy uh, it is they, they are telling that uh, the bus is taking more liters and then uh, so we have to pay 3500 rupees for the diesel so before that uh, let us see let us uh, capture this one more each bus takes 15 minutes to refill and there are only two buses such buses to be refilled okay so they stop there for about how many minutes okay so they will stop there for uh, i wrote answer also uh, in this so they will stop there for 30 uh, minutes so which means uh, they are late by 30 minutes okay so if only two buses are there so 2 into 15 30 so late uh, time will be 30 minutes so they they are supposed to uh, go to the destination by 11 it may go to 11 30 or they are supposed to go to the another destination just 50 kilometers uh, 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 away i mean uh, just 50 kilometers from the destination there uh, that is bimbetka it will be 30 minutes i mean 30 minutes delayed again now coming to this uh, question look at the picture and uh, find the price of diesel of 1 liter diesel of 1 liter okay and find the price of 1 liter of diesel so i wrote diesel of 1 liter of diesel so it's a mistake from my side look at the picture and uh, the price uh, of diesel of 1 liter this of diesel is not there again price of either i have to write price of 1 liter of diesel or i have to write price of diesel of 1 liter so this i am erasing here 
so look at the picture what is the picture showing 3500 is the amount they are paying it for 100 liters so how much did uh, i mean i mean how much uh, we have to pay um, for 1 liter so 1 liter uh, for 1 liter how much we have to pay it's it's very simple from the given question the there is a 100 liters for 100 liters the price is 35000 for 1 liter how much price okay so it is uh, 35 1 by 100 into actually this is how we will calculate uh, 35000 so 0 and 0 will get cancelled 35 will be the answer or otherwise simple technique I will tell you 3500 is the price okay and 100 liters for 1 liter remove the 100 here 0 0 and 0 0 you will be getting only 35 35 will be the answer how much time did uh, of course here in the meanwhile what happened is uh, this there is one student called aman uh, there are uh, there will be toilets uh, in the petrol bunks right so some students uh, went to uh, have uh, their what what you can say uh, natural calls so aman has uh, taken as much time uh, to empty himself as one bus taking to refill okay so we already know just now in the re previous slide that how much time one bus will take to refill it is 15 minutes so how much time did aman take to come out of the toilet is 15 minutes he is taking as much time as that particular bus is taking okay so uh, now uh, we will uh, stop here and we will we will continue a trip to bhopal uh, that is we will uh, we will see about bimbetka and then uh, we will stop here okay. so before stopping uh, as usual uh, let me tell you subscribe to my channel and then like share and click the bell icon and these are all the different uh, what you can say my, my social media uh, places where you can find this video okay thank you and bye bye jai hind